Hey guys, Tom from the Block Plane Studio, uh, giving you the first of what will be many tip, how-to, instructional videos uh, on engine building techniques that I use when putting these old things together, as well as a bunch of tips and maintenance stuff that I'm going to do as we get into riding season here in Washington. It's the perfect time to drop a lot of that stuff on you guys as I get my bikes ready to hit the open road this summer. Um, this video in particular is of a tip that I just came up with today after watching a couple of Tatro Machines videos and seeing him do a technique to remove the studs in a panhead rocker uh, block um, that I've never seen done before where he used his power draw bar and a 3 16th R8 collet to pull the, uh, the stud out of the uh, rocker block. So I was thinking to myself while watching that video, that would be a really great way to remove the idler and distributor uh, gear studs in a generator case. Uh, and I chucked up one of my old busted up cases and it worked like a charm. So what I'm gonna show you today is how I did it. Hope you enjoy. All right, so you see here, I have the cases set up here. That is a 9 16 R8 collet. Uh, you wanna make sure that you protect your bed. So always put a blanket down or something soft uh, in case something happens. You wanna make sure you protect that investment. Um, and when you go to start putting this in there, it's really handy to ensure that your three quarter inch wrench is already installed because holding that with one hand and trying to turn the, the, uh, the draw bar with the other is difficult and you don't wanna be reaching around looking for your three quarter wrench while you're doing that. Um, and, uh, I have the, the bridge port set up in low, which locks the quill out here. And, uh, and, uh, she, once we get her nice and tight, she'll be ready to twist out. So I got it set up in here and I'm just going to do a little rocking motion back and forth while pulling down on it a little bit and bingo. So as you can see, here we are, we're done. We got the post in there. Got the hole right there. And uh, this technique saves us from bushwhacking it and looking like that. So hey guys, as you can see, that uh, technique works really good. Um, and I realize that not everybody does have a bridge port or an email or anything like that. Um, it should be noted that you will, uh, if you have a br uh, drill press or something like that, that does have the capacity, a chuck capacity of over half an inch, you could probably do this, this method with that as well. Um, but because of that, I'll show you something I used to do. Um, uh, again, I wouldn't recommend using vice grips. Sometimes uh, you'll take an engine apart and you can, you can twist them right out. That is a very, very few and far between type scenario. So uh, one other way that I used to do it uh, was I would take something like this. This is a wrench that I just made to remove the uh, hub seal off a of K-model hub. Those can be really beat up sometimes and almost impossible to get off. So uh, I, I welded this to it so I could get some leverage to just thread that out. And then I could just grind my welds off. But something like this, you just put right on the stud. If you have a welder, MIG or TIG, you can weld this right to the top of the stud. And uh, putting equalizing pressure on this side, you can drive this up with a hammer and knock it right out. Works like a charm. And, uh, and obviously won't, uh, won't put any unnecessary lateral force on the post. Um, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I was uh, pretty pleased at how well this worked myself, uh, so figured I'd make a video for you guys. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button, and if you're going to subscribe, please hit the notifications because I'm about to do a ton of these types of videos. I've been inspired lately to uh, to uh, really put a lot more content on here because I'm realizing that uh, um, there's really not a lot of stuff on there uh, that's super helpful and uh, easy to understand. So. There you have it. Uh, until then, ride safe. Peace.